Hello, welcome to the Mad Lounge of Licorice Record Episode 6! Yay! Woo! So, ladies and gentlemen, well, we can say today we kickstart the second half of the season where we can say hopefully we get to see some interesting development now with the new villain for the series. Especially how he go about to execute Order 66 to the Licorice, of course, so... Yeah, it seems like he's on a hunting mission now and the Licorice are in danger. Well, hopefully Chisato gonna do her gold thing to stop him, of course. Let's just see how today's episode goes. So with that said, let's get started, actually, shall we? And let's get started with some Licorice Recall greatness. And by the way, Licorice Recall right now is number one trending in Japan over football news, by the way, because football season is starting already, it's like today. So yeah, you can say, if, you know, Licorice Recall is all trending over football, then you know today's episode should be a very interesting one. So here we play. I mean, Licorice Recall is always trending every Saturday, but like today is kind of like special because like it's like really consistently number one right now. Like, we was like number one last week and then just fluctuate, like, in, you know, deep, well, just disappeared. Okay, what do we have here? Seems like everything is like in panic mode right now. Something to do with like Chisato or something? Oh, oh yeah, come to think of it, maybe they're reacting over the death of the liquors. Yeah, one of the li yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. So, seems like they're like reacting over like, you know, Liquor's been targeted by the, well, the gang. Uh-huh. So, it seems like um, Shisato is like, how do I put this though, under medical like supervision right now too, because of a mechanical heart. Hey, uh, introvert life everyone, introvert life. Uh, all the movies, all the snacks on the table, and like, by the way, I like her with Twin Tail. And she's here. Haha. <laughs> hmm. So sleepover? Wow, okay, sleepover. Hey! Oh my god, that blush man killed it. That blush killed it, man. So it seems like she'll be staying over. <laughs> wow, this is her own room. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that's not her room. Wait, so there's uh, wait, there's an underground? Wait, what? Wait, she was living underground this whole time? Or in the basement, basically? Behind this um, secret door? Hey. So, how did she get sunlight into the room? Well, maybe, you know, if it was facing the outside, I guess. Uh-huh. So, this is a safe house, number one. So, the best one for the best, well, liquors, I guess. Oh! Chores! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is this is chore schedule. I mean, of course, you know, like we would live with someone need to get used to their clean habit of cleanliness, I guess. I mean, if I were to live with someone, I need to tell them about my habit of cleanliness. Wow, she wins all of them. Like, consecutively. Hey! Oh, I loved her reaction. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that reaction face to get she lose all the rocks and people she had to do all the chores. Oh my god, she's out of this goated not only in gun but also in rocks and paper. Steel. Ow. <laughs> not so fast. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Dude, seriously, every time he said Kurumi, I... Oh my god, wow, that's a rune roar melon. Every time he, he said Kurumi or someone's called Kurumi, I just like... Uh, yeah, I gotta get triggered easily, man. Because, as you guys may know, Kurumi is my waifu. My number one waifu, so... It's not the, it's not the first time, by the way. There are other shows that have named Kurumi and I got triggered. Like, you know, like... Oh, yeah, Kurumi. That's a great thing. Mm-hmm. Of secret, huh? Hey, there it is. I mean, I gotta say, this guy is actually quite good at hunting down, like, liquors. Oh, damn, he's quite injured himself, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're basically targeting the best one right now in the business. 
K seems like he's like hunting, going through the hunting list for liquors through this robot boy right here. Your goal? Why? You, well, your goal is to have revenge over the authorities or something? That's why he's doing some terrorist activities. It's something about Matsuka voicing like villains, man. He always does well in them. Oh, ho, ho. dude, you had to destroy a, a perfectly uh, made burger. Uh huh. You're out of here. <laughs> oh, never mind. A month. Oh, okay. So since he's not too happy about the fact that he's been thrown into situation with the licorices. Hey, you're dead. Hmm. Uh huh. Damn, he looks super pissed, man. He looks really pissed. Well, I mean, it can't make sense though, since he's like uh, his own army is like uh, losing against the liquids right now. Mm hmm. Why is there a wedding sound? Seriously, that's some interesting ringtone right there. Uh huh. Lol. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm pretty sure I know who's behind it anyways, but yeah. Hmm. Mm hmm. Walnut. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, seems like there's other people helping him out. Dude, he looks like a fucking weeb, man, for some reason. I mean, you can tell from the junks behind him that he's an introvert. Hmm. Uh, Chisato step in or something. Knew it. Oh, never mind the police. Oh, ho, ho, ho. ouch. Mm hmm. Oh, so he's like a pervert. Fair enough. Mm hmm. God damn it. His informant is gone now. I mean, oh, she's a hacker, of course, she's trying to attempt that. By the way, that sweet is like the traditional Japanese sweets that eat a lot in Kyoto. Mm. <laughs> oh, look at her pissed face, man. Dude, every time we have a this uh, like pop part of the, in the episode, like, they have drip, man. They really have drip in the outfit. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, yep, knew it, it's him, alright. I mean, we kind of knew that from episode 1 anyways, but... Seeing him, like, involved in this sort of, like, situation with the terrorists is, like, kind of, like... That show says a lot about him in the later in the season. Oh, there we go. They've been spied on. Mm-hmm. Ah, <laughs> Takina. <laughs> I mean, there's no way she can like, beat. Oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho! Trying to hack into the house, huh? I don't think that's gonna work. Though I'm pretty sure they saw it coming. See, told you. They knew. So they was expecting them. Hmm. Yep, I knew it, it was the, the, up, the upper floor of the disguise. Ah, <laughs> look at Taki uh, Chisato. Hey! <laughs> oh my god! Just chased them out so easily. Just like that. So the upper floor is... Oh, shoot him down. Shoot him down. Get... Uh, <laughs> Lol. 
<laughs> uh, so it seems like the upper floor is more like a disguise to just, like lure them in to like make, make them think they went into the wrong room and then attack them from behind. But, oh, that's smart, I guess. Mm hmm. Hmm. Low. <laughs> well, that's that destroyed the ship for any potential for boys. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess he already took interest. Hmm. Hmm. Well, well. Any infos? Hmm. Well, he, everything's been recorded. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, someone, someone changed scenes for him. Hmm. Hmm. Lao repeating that scene over and over. It's almost like they want him to like go after her. Mm hmm. Um, she doesn't care. By the way, that's the only weakness she has. She apparently avoids tragedies, and I'm pretty sure that could easily be her downfall if she's not the old, just, like doesn't come up with her killing habit again. I mean, apparently, from what I heard, that this series is supposed to be a dark series, but I'm pretty sure we're going to get there soon. Mm. I look into it further, like, what well, is some sort of, like, a go um, behind the back sort of, like, um, plotting or something? Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, Katenai. Hmm. Yeah, she's on a losing streak right now and she had to do all the chores. Cooking and cleaning. Mm hmm Oh. Oh, wow. So she can predict the movements based on the outfit. Oh, my God. That is just good perception, man. She can, like... Predict what what hand we would use. Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> I do know that's like a strategy to Roxy the paper, like a way of like seeing how the body, the motion of the body, gonna work. Well, at least that shows she's at the can beat her. I mean, Takina can't beat her in Roxy the paper. She's too good at perception. Hey, something about girls like doing the hair, uh, doing the hair like that is like really refreshing. So in other words, they're using that uh, that cloak to cover her well outfit to prevent her from being targeted. Hmm. Yeah, she's still gonna get targeted by the gang or something. Because they're quite good at tracking them down. Oh, what? What? Hmm? Mm hmm? Oh, okay. I see. Oh, okay. Seems like that's how they track the girls down. Uh huh. Okay, so it's her fault then. Yeah, I know, right? In other words, she helped them indirectly without knowing. Oh shit. Now you can say Cheetah is in danger now. I mean, I'm glad that Kurumi recognized it immediately. Hmm. Hey. Yep, she's been targeted. 
So you guys better hurry before she be surrounded. Mm hmm. Oh. Oh shit, Karkun. Oh. 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 Karkun hits her. Oh shit. Oh god. Okay, guys, I get the plot thickens now. Oh my god. Yo, no way. No fucking way. Dude, she's not like a pin that got you hit down, man. Dude, they hit, actually hit Chizato, man. Like, wow. I thought you'd dodge. Oh, shit. This is not looking good, man. This is not looking good. Oh! Oh! And the, oh, thank you. But but sadly, her guns are is not lethal. Hmm. Yeah, his bullets are not lethal, man. Not lethal. Seems like he figured it out too. Maybe he'll use that against her. Mm hmm. Up, oh, yep. Caught up to her. I mean, duh. Why, why do you think they like able to pin down the lic other licorices? Ooh, oh, yo, dodged it like nothing, like easy fire. <laughs> oh, oh, headshot, but that, but sadly he he can't die from it. Dude, he could die right there if it was Lito, the gun. But Chisato is like not the sort of person. Hmm. Oh, there we go, her drone to the rescue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh shit. Don't lay your guard down. Don't lay your guard down. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Dude, watch out. I'm pretty sure he's smart. Oh! Oh, I told you. Oh, God. He hit her! He fucking hit her! Oh my god, dude. Oh shit. Oh my god, makes sense though, because her eyes being like blinded by the her goo own goo. Oh my god, shit. Yeah, but I told you guys, if she sort of keeps up with her like non-lethal bullet, then this will happen. Her enemy will strike back if they're smart enough. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Uh. Seems like he knows Alan too, so that means he wants to work for him maybe. Oh! Yep. Yeah. Of course, the girlfriend showed up in just in time. Mmm. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, of course. Just in time, man. Oh, hmm. Well, the rescue team arrived just in time, I guess. Good. Chizato was about to be defeated. Think this in, everyone. Think this in. Chizato was about to be defeated. He was. She was pushed to the corner. Hmm. Mmm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ay, ay, ay. Mm hmm. Oh, he got, he have a torpedo. Hey, <laughs> low. Oh, shit. He got fired. Oh, never mind. Could he gonna throw the drone at it? Hey, nice hit. Face buster. Oh. Oh, he still fired it. Oh, never mind. Bye bye. See ya. <laughs> oh, shit. There's, he's not dead, but he's just gonna injure badly. There we go. Oh, that must hurt like hell, man. Although I'm surprised he's not burned. Like, with that close range to the explosion, you're gonna be burned for sure. 
Hmm. You're in big trouble. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, at least Kurumi realized her own mistake. Mm hmm. Wow, that's a nice effort to say that. Mm hmm. His name? Majima, huh? Okay. So his name is Majima. Well, see, told you he's still alive. And he's super pissed off. Oh, and they come in numbers too. Hmm. Uh huh. Why well, he took interest in her now? Yep, he took interest in her now. Hmm. Oh boy. Seems like he's on. Seems like he's gonna be in a fucking hunting mission now. Yep. Seems like he's gonna go on a hunting mission for Chisato now. And he seems like he's gonna be Chisato's biggest enemy too. Unless Chisato steps up, of course. Mm hmm. Mm. Hey, she shipped them too. Dude, the nurse shipped those two girls, okay? Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, she's been saying what we, we fans have been saying. These two deserve to be each other. Uh, yo, she, yeah. Oh, she loose. Hey, talk. Oh my god. Oh my god, the reaction is so adorable. Seems like she knows how to like counter her uh, Roxy's a paper victory now. Well, okay, this uh, now I, I understand why today's episode was how do I put this though? Trending in Japan, I guess. I mean, for very good reason too. I can totally understand because Chisato, the girl that we thought is undefeated, actually got well, well, not like how to say pushed to the corner, but like got caught off guard by our lovely Majima. So that's his name, Majima, the um, the terrorist name, the main villain for this series, I presume. Yeah, it seems like he now took a huge interest in Takin uh, well in Maj well Takina and Chisato now, so he'll be coming after them. Like you can just tell you can just tell from his face right here that he is actually excited now for more uh, how to say balancing out his well skill set, I guess. I mean you can just tell he's actually really good at planning. Like it, once he gets the identity of his opponents or his target he know he will work his way around it he usually uses men to surround them like you know like a um, like wolf surrounding the prey they try to use that against chisato but again though guys yes chisato can beat them but like i said the biggest weakness chisato will ever have uh, uh, well made uh, other than her like um clumsiness sometimes but the fact that she was able to push Chisato to the corner because she used her own bullet against herself. Oh my god, my god, Jesus. I just told you guys, if Chisato keeps up with this non-lethal weapon, she's gonna be the victim of her own weapon. Well, victim of her own actions because like, dude, your enemies are here to, to well, kill you and you're using non-lethal weapons. Because of your something happened to you in the past, because of your ethics, because of your integrity. Oh my god, like in this war of terrorists and police and some of that, you should not even be considered using well, you can use a stun stun gun or something, like maybe use maybe you know like stun them and so they can make a run for it, but seriously cheese that though, like and you are skilled at getting a uh, fighting pe uh, your opponent, but once your opponent figure out your well weakness, which is not able to not willing to kill them, they are gonna take a push to the corner. And you can see right here, she was about to be defeated. Everyone, she it was about to be defeated. She's surrounded. She's weaponless. She is like blinded by her by her own bullet weapon, I guess. So. Yeah, guys, I'm. This is the plot really thickens now. I'm, I'm pretty sure from this point on, Majima will will figure out a way to like beat Chisato now. If Chisato doesn't like change her habit, 
he's going to be defeated by Majima. Majima, I'm pretty sure he has some connection to the Allen Institute. That's why he knows about like Allen and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure he even could even like figure out what is Shisato all about to his her backstory, where she really originated from. So I, I have to take a guess. He could actually be one, one of the trainers, maybe for the liquors, or maybe he was once working, once worked with like some of the hierarchies before he quit and become a terrorist. So, well, guys, this episode really opens our eyes now for what to come for the remaining part of the season. Because trust me, guys, I, if Chisato doesn't like really change her way of shoot, fighting now, she is in big trouble. Well, of course, she got. Takina to back her up and stuff like that but what happened when Takina is the one being victimized now so I'm just worried I mean, of course Kurumi also realized that she was the one helping I mean it can't make sense if she was actually helping out with the robot boy of course but the thing is though Kurumi at least she figured out her own mistake she will not try her to you know share information now with the DA but still though like she was really reckless man Kurumi but again though she at least she figured out in the end and able to like compensate for her actions but still but yeah i love the fact that you know takina and chisato showed their support for each other in this episode and well we figure out what's the main enemy for the series now and of course you can say good animation for the fight scene of course but with the blood scene too but still man majima is a big threat to come for this series so that's it hope you guys enjoy my reaction smash the button and i'll see you guys next time